G'day everyone, Dave from Explorers again. Uh, today's app tip is some of the new features in version 9.3 or specifically we're going to have a look at custom filters. We've just created three custom filter allowance for the places system in version 9.3. And so what does this mean and how does it work? Well firstly, we've got some places on the map here and we're just staying down here in Tasmania. We've got some places on the map here. I'd like to filter some of this result set out so that I don't see some of the things that aren't of interest to me. So when I come in here and I tap on the places, I've got the tick on saying that all places are currently visible. If I click on the all places um, word, it'll bring me up to the filters. Now you'll see the custom filters line here. There's three of them available to you. I've pre-configured one already, which I'll show you in a minute, but there's another two custom filters available and they're grayed out at the moment. And that's because there isn't anything configured in them. So what you might want to do, obviously you can use the predefined filters as we have in the past. Um, but what you may want to do is you might want to just say, oh, I'd like to see just caravan parks because that's where I prefer to stay. I'd like to see historic sites. I'd like to see um, uh, tourist information or tourist attractions. Um, and, and that's all I want to have in my filter set. So if I just apply that, I can see what my filter now looks like. It's taken away those mountains. It's taken away some boat ramps that were here, taken away a, free, uh, a paid camp that was down here. If that's a particular group or grouping of filters that you particularly like, what you'll notice is that you would have seen that these two green undefined filters now have a green save button next to them. So to, to add this custom filter set to, to add this filter set to a custom filter, we just tap on say custom to the green icon and hit the save. And so now that custom filter has been uh, applied in there. So if I turn off all filters by hitting clear, You'll see that all the, all the markers have come back on the map. Now if I go back into the all places and click on my custom filter, it's immediately taken it to just that defined set, which was um, tourist attractions, historic sites and caravan parks. Obviously, if you have had enough of that particular um, filter, you can hit the delete button and it will remove that custom filter uh, from the view. You can set the custom filters to incorporate different types. You could say explore of uh, free camps and paid camps, so not personal ones if you wanted. And you'll notice that I haven't gone back to the map screen and I can hit save and it's put that filter straight in as well. Uh, I can apply and see those. There's only one paid camp here um, that was on that map screen. So that filter set has done exactly what we asked it to do. Again, deleting it and clearing it away uh, and you can clear the filters to load back the whole map screen again. So I've just created this one that we particularly like to use quite often. Um, and so you can just see that it's turned on those feature sets as well. So you can use these places filters in both the map screen and you can use it in the content selection screens in here with the places filter in here. So you'll see that you can turn on exactly the same filter in the list view. Uh, and you can obviously come in here and add your own custom filters if you so desire, you'll see that the custom filters message is now showing two save icons because they're empty and we've got a filter set applied. So again, we could save that or we can delete that. And that's how the custom filters in 9.3 works. As I say, you've got three. I uh, hope that feature is full and beneficial to you. Uh, we know some people put a lot of work into their filters and put lots of different things on. So when you've made a great selection and you want to keep it, that's what custom filters are for. Hope that helps.